So, the Umbrella Festival uh, is a three-day festival featuring the general scene of performers and bands that I have found myself in during the past seven or so years of my career here in Portland. Uh, I've always favored the description of the bohemian scene, uh -huh. although that has for some people uh, some people don't like that so much, but it is difficult to come up with a name that encompasses. What, what, what's not to like about Bohemian? Well, I don't know. I think it's got kind of a, it's not kind of got like a, a pejorative sort of a meaning for really? some people. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like uh, like the Bohemian bourgeoisie or whatever, like yeah. boho chic Both. kind of meaning. But I, I I'm hearkening back to an earlier and more sort of celebratory <laughs> meaning of the word, yeah. which would encompass like cabaret and burlesque mm -hmm. and circus and uh, old world. Yeah. You know, Eastern European derived and hobo derived musical forms. And, hobo? Uh, yeah, yeah, hobo derived music as well. And, uh, you know, generally a whole culture that I feel sprung out of uh, that sort of a deep underground scene, but which still harkens back to the music of and performance of, you know, 70 to 150 years ago. Uh, so anyway, I mean, what we're talking about is, of course, the Wanderlust Circus, which is my circus. Yes. Uh, in particular, it's in our Wanderlust Circus Orchestra configuration with a live eight-piece swing band fronted by myself. Uh -huh. Also, Vagabond Opera, uh, also the Stolen Sweets, uh, the Strangled Darlings, Boy and Bean, Professor Gall, Eon Now, Murderbait. Uh, Murderbait? Yeah, Murderbait. These guys are young up-and-comers. I, I, I decided to include that. M-U-R-D-E-R-B-A-I-T. Okay. Yeah. I decided to not only include like established and super well known acts, but also to uh, seek out some sort of sort of newcomers to the scene that are making uh, exciting music that fits in with this general style of stuff. And I, I think I, I've done that in Murder Bait and Eon Now mm -hmm. and Boy and Bean as well, who are uh, oh, yeah. also fantastic. And I don't know if I've forgotten anybody that might be all. Oh, yeah, and then for that matter, we got Tears of Joy Puppet Theater uh -huh. doing a short piece, which is really exciting. Uh -huh. uh, and all kinds of burlesque dancers, Charlotte Truce, Tana the Tattooed Lady. Uh, we've got uh, belly dancers like Apsara, mm -hmm. Nagasita, and Ashley Lopez, and Carolina Lux. Russell Bruner and Sugar Cane are coming in to do some dancing as well. And uh, all kinds of people from my circus, aerialists and acrobats and jugglers and Blake Hicks, the trick cyclist. And it's just really an incredible lineup of people spanning three days on April the 6th through the 8th at the Alberta Rose Theater. And... Uh, just because I've been doing some really great shows there, uh, the idea was conceived by them, by, by Adam yeah. Adam East and uh, Joe Colley from yeah. the Alberta Rose, uh -huh. that they wanted this general sort of a festival, but they hired me to put it together, and uh -huh. I was happy to do so, because yeah. it's the kind of thing I've been wanting to do for a long time, mm -hmm. but as you know, I have no money or resources to speak of other than this <laughs> silver tongue of mine, so... <laughs> um, I, was, I was happy to have them give me the opportunity to make something like this happen. Uh -huh. Now... Um, why why are we calling it the Umbrella Festival? I the mean, Umbrella there, Festival. There are obviously, there's some obvious connections there to the weather, but what is it really? Uh, I think I think the weather is actually a big part of it, because yes. uh, when we first conceived of this show, they wanted to do it around this time, uh -huh. but we were talking about the fact that it couldn't be a big outdoor festival because of the likelihood that it would start pouring rain at some time during the weekend. So uh, that was a beginning of it. Um, I think they talk about it all as how it's all these various different interrelated but distinct styles and genres and performers that are all under a single umbrella, you know, uh -huh. trying to find sort of a, an identity and a home for all these different scenes uh -huh. to call their own. Uh, Yes, that's the reason. And also, there is an actual umbrella contest associated with the event, uh -huh. where people are being encouraged to make their own ho homemade and home decorated umbrellas, and we're ha giving away a one hundred dollar prize oh. for the best umbrella. Oh. So anybody out there that's a crafty type really should give it a try. Like, make a nice umbrella and bring it down, and you could win a hundred dollars, which is far more than a ticket. Costs. Yes, yes, and a better chance of winning that than you would have the other day at the at the, at the lottery. Right. Yes. Way better than the lottery. The yes. prize might not be as big, but on the no. other hand, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a reward for your own uh, creativity and yeah. inventiveness as opposed to just yeah. the luckiness of your numbers. <laughs> um, so, um, what, what, what will you be doing? I mean, I know you'll be emceeing, correct? I will. I'll be emceeing all three nights yeah. uh, in my William Batty persona. Uh-huh. Uh, 
I also, on uh, on Sunday night, like I said, I'm, I'm fronting this band, which yeah. is very exciting for me. I used to sing a great deal when I was young. This was my early work. Uh, even as a child, was uh, singing in like, musical theater and community choruses and things like this. And then as I grew into being a teenager, I used to front a lot of rock and roll bands of one kind or another, none of which went much of anywhere, but, you know, some like, small-time rock bands uh -huh. in Los Angeles and also here in Portland. Uh, and then uh, I got into all this weirder stuff, all this experimental music and the Butoh dance, and then ultimately the circus, and uh, sort of that sort of left my uh, my singer identity behind. But just recently, I uh, got together this orchestra for my circus and started to front that band, and that's really cool for me because I, I love singing music. And it's a it's a swing band, a novelty swing band, inspired uh -huh. somewhat by the music of Spike Jones uh -huh. and the City Slickers. Yes. Uh, and so I'm doing some of that. I'm not the only singer either. I share yes. vocal duties with Anna Leander from Anna mm -hmm. Paul and the Bearded Lady. Are you doing any actual Spike Jones material? We're not. Okay. We're not. But uh, we're inspired by Spoke, uh, Spike Jones in terms of a kind of hairpin turns yes. in the style of music, yes. like within a single arrangement. We're really all over the place in terms of the style we're playing in and uh -huh. trying to accentuate really uh, challenging, fast solos, kind of like extended technique solos. Uh -huh. and, and then... Uh, the incorporation of uh, variety acts that weave themselves into the music in a real fast-paced kind of way, trying to hit this kind of a city slickers vibe in that way. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it's it, it is yeah. fun. We uh we did two nights of the orchestra at the Alberta Rose, then we also yes. took it to the Oregon Country Fair uh -huh. and performed at the Lagunitas Beer Circus a short time ago. <laughs> so uh, it's only been a smattering of like full Wanderlust Orchestra gigs that we've done, but they've all been a blast for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, um, uh, there'll be different, different, uh, different acts every every night. Yes, every night is different. Ah, yeah. what, is the, what, are, what are the themes? Uh, the Friday night theme is the road. Uh -huh. This is uh, Vagabond Opera uh -huh. and Murder Bait and Professor Gall are the three uh -huh. uh, headlining bands of that night. Uh, the theme for Saturday is the city. The headlining bands are Strangle are uh, well uh, Stolen Sweets and Strangled Darlings and Boy and Bean. Uh -huh. And then the uh, the theme for Sunday is the Big Top, and the headliners uh, are the Wanderlust Circus Orchestra yes. and uh, Eon Now, and <laughs> someone there's else. Another That's another okay. wonderful band playing that. Same I'm band. sure there is. No, uh, no, wait, hold on. I've got okay. this. It's, okay. uh, there's something right. so great. All right. Uh, All right. Oh yeah, Hurkalia. Hey, there it's you a band go. called Hurkalia. What does that is, mean? I don't know what it means. Ah. Uh, they are a Middle Eastern and Gypsy ensemble, uh -huh. wow. uh, fronted, well not fronted by, but uh, uh -huh. led by Doug Schaefer, uh -huh. and also including Eric Stern on the accordion, uh -huh. uh, and they're, yeah, they're playing kind of like a belly dance music. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a band formerly known as Nagara, but they've kind of reconfigured oh, and yes. renamed themselves. Yes, so, yeah, yes, yes. What is it? Por it's H-U-R-Q-A-L-Y-A. Okay. Yes, if I'm sure it has some kind of like a deep esoteric meaning. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll find that out after we're done here. Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's even. Yeah. I'd say it's about about a 65 percent chance that I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> I have a knack for these things, <laughs> pronouncing words that I don't really know what they mean. Um, so uh, you you'll be singing on the, the final night. Yes, I will. What will you be singing? Well. Uh, We've got a crazy rendition of On the Sunny Side of the Street that I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Uh, I've got kind of a swing version of The Sun Whose Rays Are All Ablaze from uh -huh. the Mikado uh -huh. that I do. Uh, what else am I going to sing that night? I'll be sharing vocals uh -huh. on Scraps and Crumbs and Disappointment uh -huh. Reflection, which are uh -huh. two songs that fans of my earlier Wanderlust Circus shows will remember when they were performed by the Wan Profit Organization, oh, yes. our previous house band. Because yes. the, the current band still has... The remaining two Portland-based members of One Profit are, are, are in this new band as well. Uh, th those are all the songs that I'm singing. Yes. There's uh, two songs sung by Anna Leander. We're doing Abba Dabba Honeymoon. Oh, very good. That's a good one. Good. And an, an original by her <laughs> and Paul Evans called... Uh, yeah. you, could you could dedicate that to, to uh, Rick Santorum. Abba Dabba Honeymoon, yes. dedicated to Rick Santorum. Yes. Right. Because, you know... That guy. <laughs> who's, who's running his campaign? Who's in charge uh, of that guy? You know, uh, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> he just dropped an N bomb on camera a couple yes, days ago. Did. did you see that? He certainly did. <laughs> yes. It's a strange decision. <laughs> he, well, he knows his audience. Yes. Now you have you have something else big coming up a little bit later on in, a, in April or May. Very possibly. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay. I'm doing a. I am doing a. Uh, 
a right. fundraiser yeah. show uh -huh. for our next big tour. Ah. This is a crazy tour called the Matahari Hustle. It's kind of a cabaret show. <laughs> it's not done a disco thing. It's not. Do, 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 right. Do you know do, the Matahari Hustle? Do, do, do. <laughs> no, it's the, the Matahari Hustle is a, kind of a cabaret show. Lots of like singing and dancing. I got it. A yeah, cool got little it. story uh -huh. and uh, combining swing dance and belly dance and a little bit of like juggling and some acrobatic type uh -huh. stuff. But uh -huh. for the most part, it's like a big. Uh, like a musical, like kind of a live, uh -huh. small ensemble, cabaret, mm -hmm. musical theater piece. And where will that happen? Uh, the, the tour is happening all over the country. Oh, the uh, the really? fundraiser, yeah. yeah. The fundraiser is happening at the Star Theater on uh -huh. April the 12th? We'll find it. I think. We'll so find it's it. very possible that it's the 12th of April. Yeah. And then uh, other stuff. Just look, 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 everybody, look look beneath this little screen and you'll yes. you'll see where, where, where it's down, there, down there. Yes, right. It's uh, <laughs> April the something at the Star Theater, which, by the way, is yeah. such an incredible place. Like, the Alberta Rose is beautiful is. and yeah. wonderful. Man, the Star Theater is the other, like, truly great venue in town right yeah. now for yeah. this kind of vintage stuff. It's Very great true. over there. Very true. Yeah. Well, have a wonderful time on this weekend, and I would like to, hopefully, I can stop in and see something. Well, thank you, Tom. Yeah, no, man, be casa, be casa. Come All by. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you.